I want to use the effect, but I don't want to use that video. I want to use the effect on a new video. So how do we deal with that? All right. In this project, we have created two spotlights and we want to be able to use them again. I'm just going to focus on one spotlight at first, which is this one here, the big circle that we're working on. In fact, I'm going to make it so obvious. I'm going to hide the other tracks. We've got something that zooms in on a screen recording and it spotlights it, puts a circle around it. And I could say, hey, God, that is such a great grouping. I'm going to add that to my library. If you've never added to your library, please try this today. Uh, we're going to create this one. I'm going to call this one Planet Earth, and I'm just going to call this one Map, right? So if I open up a new project and I go to my library and I've got my Planet Earth and I choose Map, I've got, whoop, there it is. Everything's right in there and I'm ready to go, except uh, that might not actually be what I want. I'm, I'm probably, I want to use the effect, but I don't want to use that video. I want to use the effect on a new video. So how do we deal with that? Once I've got an effect that I like, I can go into it as a group. I can choose the things that I'm going to keep. Like I like that border. I like the alpha track mat here, but this recording, I'm going to eventually replace it. So I'm going to right click and choose convert to placeholder. This means that I can put something else in there in a minute. All right, I'm going to close this out and I'm going to right click. I'm going to rename this one differently. I'm going to call this one uh, spotlight uh, placeholder. Okay. I'm going to right click it again. I'm going to add that to my library. I'll put it at visible size, planet earth, spotlight placeholder. Sounds great. Now let's uh, get rid of that. And I'm going to go to my spotlight placeholder, drag that down onto my timeline. You can tell that it's, uh, it's got my placeholder behind it. Click it. Let's say this is a new project, right? And I've got a new recording, this uh, recording of the jet screen stream, <laughs> sorry. I'm gonna drag that down onto my placeholder. I can uh, ripple replace this time. I'm gonna ripple replace with clip speed so that it keeps everything just the same duration. And wouldn't you know it, it zooms in. Ooh, that looks pretty good. Here's what I want you to do. I want you to take this spotlight with placeholder. I want you to put it into one of your libraries. I want you to put it onto one of your screen recordings. And then I'm pretty sure that when you do it, it's not going to land perfectly. So you might have to zoom in. You might have to put an animation on the timeline, right? Uh, let me zoom this out a little bit. Uh, you might have to do a, a shift A, but do whatever you have to to apply this effect onto an existing recording and then customize it, make it your own and use it again and again. Thanks a bunch for watching. Good luck.